All right. Um, been very pleased with this week's uh, preparations. I felt like we had some really good practices Tuesday and Wednesday, and uh, you know we had our walkthrough today, and that was good. And we'll have our last wrap up, our run through tomorrow afternoon, and, and head to the hotel. But I've been pleased. Uh, with their focus and with their energy here this week. Mark, when you said Monday, you were really proud of the way the cornerbacks played, that they sort of set the tone against Florida. What, what did you mean by that? And what, what are you looking for from them as far as setting the tone? Uh, I, I don't recall that, John, whether it was about them setting the tone. But I, I mean, I, I probably used that term, but it was more, that's generally speaking about the front. You know, yeah, I think the, right. the offensive line and the defensive line were, were uh, very physical, as you know, we talked about that. And, uh, but I thought the other piece going into the game was our matchup outside because uh, of their speed and getting big plays and uh, at receiver. And so I just felt like uh, I was pleased with the way our corners were covered and the way they played. And uh, you know, even after watching the film, I felt the same way. But they had a good day, good tight coverage, and you know, obviously they hit some as you saw later in the game, but. Um, some of that was in between safeties and, and linebackers and hit some intermediates and uh, some things like that. But the big shot plays, when the game was on the line, I felt like they matched up really well and played good. Mark, with the new redshirt rules, do you anticipate seeing a lot more guys play this week that maybe you would normally play? Well, we do. I'll, I'll let you know after the game and see how it goes. Um, but uh, I would like to use a few guys just because we have to right now, just because of some injuries and a few things going on, certain positions. Uh, nothing major, but uh, I would like to get a few guys in there, yes. Mark, Benny started getting a little bit of Heisman buzz this week. Have you all talked at all about any sort of marketing campaign for that kind of stuff? Is that something you'd be No, I don't, I don't think, um, you know, we have not. Uh, Tony does a great job. You could ask him afterwards. But, uh, you know, they'll do a good job of promoting Benny. And uh, I'm sure Benny and Josh and several of our guys just for some postseason awards, and they deserve that. And uh, we'll do some things as we move forward to to help promote those guys a little bit. Eddie talked about Benny maybe being on a pitch count earlier this week. Uh, he wished he would have run him less this last week. So how much do you think he runs this this week? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to put a number on that right now. You never know how things are going to go uh, throughout the game. Um, we we talked about it all year, and we talked about it after that game that we had confidence in the other backs running in there as well. And so we do anticipate using some of those guys here this week. When Josh made the decision to come back, and he worked really hard on his body in the over the off season, are you already starting to see the benefits from that? And do you think how much is that going to help him as the season goes along? Definitely, you see that. You know, the, this whole time, the way he's carried his weight, the way he's you know, ran this summer and lifted, and just the change of direction, and he's able to to carry it and hold it, and uh, it's not a struggle struggle for him to hold his weight right now. And he's just playing now. He's playing really good football, just across the board. Even things that go unnoticed, just uh, um, he's just playing the game the right way. And you know, he's been uh, doing his job and playing within the framework of the defense. And uh, you know, and then predictable pass. He's got great pressure. Just just doing a lot of things good. That play on the two point conversion maybe gets lost a little bit in the sack at the end. But what did he do really well? Yeah, it was a it was a good play because earlier um, he wasn't in, but uh, Kajara was in and actually overran the little the quarterback sprint and then it, and uh, I think he was looking to throw it and bent all the way back and so we had talked about that in general and plus he's, he's a dropper on that play in that coverage and it was full flow away so with full flow away he can't do anything over there but uh, a lot of times they have that what we call why hide tight end hide kind of blocks for a while, trickles back. And uh, that's what he fell into. And uh, he was looking for it, had instincts, and just picked it up and uh, made a nice play on it. Murray State's offense is pretty good screen team. What, do you, what kind of problems does that present for you guys? Really yeah, we just got to watch because, you know, our, we did a really nice job last week on, on a couple of them. Uh, obviously, the draw late in the game really hurt us. We've got to be anticipating some of that and predictable pass situations and, and the same with screens. And one of the screens earlier in the game, the game we had uh, some guys really doing a nice job of retracing and getting downfield and making a tackle. So they got to be anticipating some things. Uh, we don't want to slow down. We still want to be aggressive, but they have to read that and retrace. And that's team defense at that point. You haven't had too many 
opportunities for miles in a kicking game, you always prefer yeah. touchdowns, so and that's a good yeah. thing. But would, are you kind of curious to see about that? Too? Sure. I mean, I think, you know, uh, I'd like to get him some field goals, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're right. I'd rather, have, <laughs> I'd rather see him kicking extra points. But, uh, but yeah, I'm sure he'll get his opportunity. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I have confidence in him when he does it. How's Terry look this week after receiving you know, some pretty good recognition? All oh, the season. same. He, no, no, no change. I mean, preparation's been good, and he's, he's a, really always has the same demeanor. What, what do you think of the Murray State quarterback? I talked to a couple of people who saw him play, said he's got a big talent on. He does. He had a big game a year, a couple of years ago, and you know, he, he, you definitely see the talent in his arm, um, and we've seen that before from some, you know, some teams that we come in and. Uh, uh, made me think, you know, fans think it's going to be very easy, and that's not always the case. They have definitely have some good players, and he's one of them. When you have an FCS opponent come in, kind of like EKU has in the past, it seems like they almost elevate their play because this is kind of their opportunity to, to show what they can do. Yeah, it, it, again, we can't, I can't, I have no control over what they do or how they play, but, but obviously with us, that's what we've talked about all week. Uh, all week was playing to our standards and playing a clean football game and playing – uh, to the best of our abilities, and uh, you know that that's what we're focusing on. Anybody else? No. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.